joining me as he does every Saturday night from the law firm of Reeves and Medier. Well, it's the Medier side of it, Matthew Medier. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, sir. So, about two weeks ago, everybody, uh, maybe three weeks ago, mailboxes got full with this notice coming out, and then, man, the, the phone lines started ringing again, didn't Yeah, they? absolutely. It was kind of a long time coming. What it is, Kenny, is that, you know, everyone obviously knows what the BP settlement is, and they yes. know the BP process well. BP was not the only company involved in that, in the oil spill. Uh, Halliburton, Transocean, those were names you heard of a lot absolutely. early on, absolutely. and they, they had a part to pay. So, uh, the settlement that we've been talking about for years now has been BP's part of the settlement. Well, Halliburton and Transocean have also now, they've also come up now with their own settlement process. I gotcha. What they've done is they have, uh, it's really, it's a punitive damage fund, basically. Okay. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's capped fund, about $1.2 billion. And the Just idea, a little bit of walking around a money. A little bit of walking, walking around, around money. money amongst right. friends. <laughs> Indeed. And the idea is it is to compensate those. It's not really, to, it's not really based upon economic loss. It's okay. really, it's money um, really set aside to punish uh, companies, wrongdoers. So they have put in that money to basically kind of censure themselves, um, you know, for this process. And, and then, of course, it's going to be distributed in the claims process. It is really for those primarily for that have oiled on their real estate or their um, boats, things like that. So okay. the people that are going to come out the best are those that have, uh, of course, landowners, property owners on the beach that hold oil or boats that got damaged with oil. Those are going to come out the best. But subsistence fishermen, commercial fishermen, all those guys are also going to um, recover as well. So a little bit different from the BP process. It is. Uh, yeah. I mean, a good People, bit different. talk to yeah. me a little bit. What are the calls? Because I know whenever the trends, things start moving, mm -hmm. your phone line starts ringing. Right. What are you hearing from the people out there? Um, they're just concerned that the BP letters that they're getting in, that they're going to have to file a new claim. I see. However, it, they do not have to file a new claim. It'll just convert on over to the new system. Okay. So if you had a BP claim, then you're going to, I'm not going to say automatically, but you should convert into this new Halliburton Transocean. If you, as long as you didn't sign a GCCF release. Okay. But and if you were in Deepwater Horizon, you filed a claim and you were paid, then your claim will automatically be transferred over. And go over GCCF just for just for about um, a minute. In the beginning, we had the GCCF claim form. Right. And that was with Kenneth Feinberg and people put in claims. Well, during that time, if they got an offer, they signed a release, That's either right. five or twenty-five thousand. And if they did that, then that stop them from actually filing in Deepwater Horizon. So that was the, um, the GCCF was back, that was only for 2010 and 11 right. and 12, it converted to the Deepwater Horizon. Moved on over from there, so. Mm -hmm. yeah, Matt, it's well, interesting, very well, interesting, this it process. Is, it is, but there are some nuances, uh, interestingly enough. I mean, this stuff, you know, never easy, you know, in this process, it's had a lot of twists and turns, and this is no exception. Um, some entities will need to file claims, new claims. Okay. There, there won't be many, though. It's a small okay. group. And, Really, that group is going to be the excluded group. Uh, to go back a little, like a little BP uh, classroom work here. Sure. In the BP settlement, they carved out some industries, right, like gaming and governments, yes, uh, developers, insurance, financial banks. They carved those guys out. So those people, that's they may need to file a claim I because see. because they were kind of kicked out intentionally by the BP process. Pogie fishermen as well. So there's some nuances here you got to be mindful of, and there's some deadlines coming up. Uh, the claims deadline, the first of all, the big deadline coming up is if you don't want to be involved in Halliburton, if you want out, if you want okay. to kind of opt yourself out, you can, and that's September 23rd of okay. this year. Okay. Uh, of course, the deadline to file a claim, if you're going to be in that very small minority that's going to need to file a claim, is December 15th, 2016. All claims need to be filed by that point on Halliburton. Matt, that sounds important. Yeah. Whenever he <laughs> says the word deadline, April, I'm, you know... Yeah. I'm quick like that. No hit lawyer, me. but now no lawyer. But let me just add that no. point. All right, so hit that again. December fifteenth. So if if that's you want right. to be out, if like if you don't want to yeah. take part of it, two big dates to know. Okay, right. Uh, September twenty third. If you want out, if you say nope, I don't want to, anything involved in this. Don't send me any money. Okay. Please don't send me any money. I want out of this. <laughs> you need to file by September twenty third. Uh, if you if you if you're one of the small group of people that do need to file a plan, claim because okay. most people are going to be automatically rolled into it. Right. But if you're in that small group that has to file a claim, that deadline is. December 15th, 2016. Okay. Claim have to be in. Uh, is this going to be like, and I'm going to throw this at both of y'all, is this deadline going to be like the, the hard June deadline from last yes. year from BP? That's exactly, yes. what, it okay. yeah. That's okay. exactly what it is. That was universal yeah. right there. Yes. That's yeah. exactly what it is. Because that yeah. was, gosh, I guess that was a year ago, or yeah. just a little over a year yeah. ago, yeah. and that was Boy. firm, wasn't it, mm -hmm. April? That was oh, one yeah. of those deadlines. That was it. That just, <laughs> speaking of how that's all there is to Close to the end of the show here. Let's go back over those important deadlines y'all mentioned earlier. April, what was? What do I need to do? I'm going to look to both of y'all here on this one. Who? All right, the opt-out deadline is September 23rd, 2016. If you want out of the 
Halliburton. I don't really know why he would want out, but right. if you do, just, if you just tired say, of it. do not send me any money. Do not send me money. You okay. file that April 23rd. All right, if you want, to, if you're that small group of folks that do have to file a claim, it's not going to be a rollover, but do have to right. file a claim, that's December 15th, 2016. So okay, so the end of this year. The that's what, that's we'll be talking about that again. Maybe we, we need will, to do a show a couple we, weeks out before that. Sounds, the end of that. that yeah. sounds good. Our big thanks to April Parker, who joined us again for a BP show. Really do appreciate it, April. And we'll be back next week to do Ask Us Anything, where we will anything. take anything, anything, any legal problem at all. Please, We'd love especially. to have you. But until then, <laughs> good, good night. night.